You remember the, the story of the two fishes swimming in the ocean and two, two young fishes swimming in the ocean and, and uh, another older fish comes swimming in the opposite direction and uh, as he as he goes past them he says um, morning boys are you are you enjoying the water and the two fish swim on for a for a while and one of them turns to the other and says water what's that for your thoughts that are wandering all over the place they're already swimming in, in that for which you are in search. But but you're still looking for it as some kind of some kind of experience that you're going to have in the future. You'll look forever. If you think it's an experience, a subtle experience, a peaceful experience, you'll look forever. And you'll the frustration will just grow. People talk about the non-dual understanding. There's no non-dual understanding. Non-dual, it's not about understanding. You don't have to understand anything to be. So does the newborn infant understand anything? Does the person on their deathbed just before they breathe their last breath, do they understand anything? No. Do they have any special experience? Are they enlightened? I get the impression you're you're, you're still you're yeah. looking for for some marvelous, albeit refined, experience. Something is going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. It's already happening. In other words, don't make a quiet mind a prerequisite. Hmm. A quiet mind is a consequence of resting in being, but it's not a prerequisite for it. In, in um, which, which, which is which gospel does it say? Um, Be still and know that I am God. If I had written it, I would have written it the other way around. Know that I am God, and be still. Don't worry about stilling your mind. Wherever the fishes go, they're swimming in the water, they, but they don't know it. Not because it's so far, not because it's so unknown, not because it's so unfamiliar, but because it's so close, so intimate, so familiar. Stop practicing. Stop meditating. Stop being interested in non-duality. Stop making an effort. Stop disciplining your mind. Anything we do must be founded on the assumption that what we are aiming for is not present now. Why would we sit down and meditate? because we want something to happen at the end of the meditation. And whatever we want to happen at the end of the meditation must, by definition, not be present now. Well, something may happen at the end of the meditation, but it won't be what we speak about here, and it won't bring you peace. Forget about meditation. Forget about non-duality. Forget about self-inquiry. Forget about teachers. Forget about teachings. Give, give yourself a break. And you, you may find that what you've been seeking all these years will just emerge quietly from the background of your experience. Nothing sensational. Nothing to tell anybody about. No marvelous experience. 